Good day and welcome to JNN's Headline News. I'm Abigail Smythe. In the headlines at this time, Governor General Sir Patrick Allen has revealed that he has intervened in the current row over the appointment of Justice Brian Sykes as Acting Chief Justice. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has been accused of seeking to interfere with the judiciary by appointing an Acting Chief Justice. The move forced 97 judges to release a declaration affirming the principle of separation of powers. The judiciary agreed that timelines for the delivery of judgments and the disposal of cases should be established. Allegations regarding road works being carried out in the constituency of St. Andrew Northwestern ahead of the March 5 by-election have caught the attention of the Office of the Contractor General. Contractor General Dirk Harrison revealed on Thursday that his office has an interest in the matter. Indicom is now probing the death of a prisoner at the Yalas police station. On Monday, 45-year-old Christopher Allen died while being detained at the station on charges of possessing counterfeit currency. Indicom has reportedly received conflicting accounts given by the police on what happened to Mr. Allen. 26-year-old Omar Graham was sentenced to 20 years in prison on Thursday. He pleaded guilty to killing his boss, 76-year-old Barbara Moncrief, in March last year. Mr. Graham was also sentenced to 30 years for injuring Mrs. Moncrief's husband and two of his co-workers. Minister of Education Senator Royal Reed has announced that Grade 5 students will sit the primary exit profile PEP Grade 6 mock examinations in June. PEP, which will replace GSAT, is intended to provide a better and more complete profile of students' academic and critical thinking capabilities. More than 100 cane cutters employed to Sankar Limited in St. Thomas are continuing their protest over poor working conditions. The cane cutters have been off the job since Wednesday. The workers are vying for permanent employment. They have also criticized Sankar for not having enough equipment to transport the cane to the sugar factory. The Electoral Office of Jamaica EOJ will conduct a voting simulation on Saturday for registered electors in the St. Andrew Northwestern constituency and the Norman Gardens Division. This is part of preparations for the March 5 by-elections. The EOJ says the exercise is aimed at sensitizing electors about the electronic voter identification system. And finally, on the international scene, U.S. President Donald Trump says the armed officer who stood outside the Florida school where a gunman killed 17 people last week certainly did a poor job. Deputy Scott Peterson resigned after an investigation found he failed to confront the suspect. Mr. Trump called Mr. Peterson a coward who didn't react properly under pressure. And those are the stories in the headlines. Join us at 8 p.m. for more details in Frontline News. I'm Abigail Smythe, wishing you pleasant viewing.